Alright guys, let's explore around this nice tropical setting. We're filled to the brim with a lot of fruits, and to top it off, there was only two Yoshis in the background as you can see right here. Even though they were there for the sake of the form stuff. Well, we'll try and explain more about it whenever we're able to actually explore around in this board, so... Hey, what is up everyone? I am Duffy Duck here, and I am back for some more of yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Mario Party for the Nintendo 64. So, uh, I believe last weekend is the fact that we did manage to explore around on the actual birthday cake, specifically Peach's birthday cake, and despite um, a little bit of a comfort factor during the forms of, uh, well, to be more specifically, almost got screwed over at the end uh, for that major loss in Peach's birthday cake due to the forms of one of those happening spaces that someone else didn't manage to activate the traps in, but regardless of anything else though, it's the fact that I still managed to win nonetheless during on that particular board. So today, for the majority of this weekend, for specifically today on Saturday and Sunday essentially, that uh, we're about to be moving on to the fourth board in the game, which appears to be Yoshi's Tropical Island. And from the record though, is the fact that as you can tell, um, it kind of reminds me of similar to the forms of Mario's Rainbow Castle, and the reason why I say that, because, well, much like in Mario's Rainbow Castle, as well as, uh, Peach's Birthday Cake, well, at least those two, uh, doesn't manage to able to change their spots, because in this particular board, does manage to have themselves, I would say, two different, um, star spaces, as far as I'm aware. Like, as you can tell, whenever you start the board off, Basically, one of those stars is actually located on the right island. And before we continue the, continue things on, we'll just go ahead and just do, you know, the usual settings and stuff, so that we can able to speed things up a notch, even for the likes of those messages, as far as I'm aware. So, now as you can see on screen, I'm going to be playing as Wario for this board. And because of that, though, I just feel like just trying to show him off in action. And, oh, that was way too daunting right there for starters. And also, I might as well get... Uh, okay, let's just get the mushroom, so... And thankfully, I didn't get the mu the, the minus dice block again, so I'm guessing that makes it pretty obvious. So here's the main gimmick of this board, and, uh, and that was the fact that, well, as you can tell, in order to actually get from one, line, one island to another, it's the fact that, as you can see, we need to pay coins to that thwomp. And every time, whenever you bypass the thwomp, well, well, depending on how much coins you'll be betting, and because of that, though, if you bet on certain coins, uh, basically, you're able to actually increase... Oh, great. We're going for Ghost Guess again. I'm not exactly a big fan of this minigame, honestly, because it's all about to guess. Even though it's not necessarily luck-based, it's just that memorization is not my kind of thing. But regardless of anything else, though, we'll just go for it anyway. So, a few things I want to explain about this, and I apologize for that hitting the microphone right here. And I think it was actually this boo over there? Nah, not even that close. But again, I'm not exactly a memorization when it comes to likely certain mini games, as far as you guys can tell. But I digress. So, yeah, today's day is the forms of uh, the 22nd of August today, in this case in 2020. I can't even believe we're actually almost there at the end of, uh, let's just say in August for the sake of time. Well, to be more specifically, we might try to able to do the fifth board at some point next weekend as well. So, either way though, we can at least try to able to go for it. So anyway, so let's go in and play some, um, well, Coin Block Blitz, which we've, we've already played this minigame before, so a bit either way, though, we'll try to grab some more coins from here and there. And yeah, I do apologize for that pronunciation during the forms of in the, uh, the last board of this game, which appears to be Peach's birthday cake, is that someone in the comments saying that I actually got my pronunciation wrong. And it turns out it was actually Dingo Dial. So even then, no uh, thanks for pointing out for the likes of the forms of, uh, you know, one of the YouTube commenters and stuff like that. So I must admit that I do apologize for that pronunciation error. And what is Donkey Kong doing? He just likes to jump on people. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, as a result of that specific stuff, and I also want to apologize by the forms of, uh, during the last board, or in this case, in the previous board, specifically Peach's birthday cake, um, for whatever reason is that my commentary just somehow becomes out of sync 
during new forms at the exact same time as the uh, the game's audio, which as a result, because of that though, hopefully I'll try to fix that at some point, and hopefully we won't be able to come across into that issue ever again. Well, until whenever we get on to the majority of this game, alongside with, uh, you know, Mario Party 2, which I'm sure Sylvester will be able to do that, and join at some point, and join, you know, at some point in November, so... Now, if you guys are probably thinking about the fact that aren't you going to be doing Wii Party, um, redo Let's Play or something? Well, I might actually save that until at some point in the future, so... Oh boy, we go for this mini game again. Ugh. God, I hate this. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, guys, you can do this. Thank you. Hi. And unfortunately, my palms are starting to get a little bit more blistery all of a sudden. But regardless of anything else, though, is the fact that, again, whenever we get onto Mario Party 2, all the way up to Mario Party 8, uh, basically, we're no longer going to come across into those rotating the control stick kind of mini games, as you know. Well, at least despite there's a lot of, you know, rotation kind of stuff, like motion controls and stuff, like in Mario Party 8 does, so. And it looks like Peach only lost one coin due to that particular minus dice block she managed to come across into. But again, there's not much else we can talk about, apart from the fact that recently we got ourselves our brand new presentation, as far as where Jewel has already mentioned about this, since Juni forms of her Let's Play of Rayman Raving Rapids 2 recently, since the likes of yesterday, uh, basically we finally managed to get ourselves our proper... Oh wait a minute, it was another ND, uh, ND World Direct, isn't it? Even though despite I'm not exactly a big fan of ND World presentations, I'll be brutally honest here, but at least they have some good things here and there, which uh, we'll discuss more about it until whenever we're able to talk through all this stuff though. So either way though, there's not much else I can usually just try to, you know, just try to talk about this. And um, also not to mention though, is the fact that since after all, that we almost at the halfway point in journey forms of Mario Party Let's Play so far. Well, not in terms of the everything in this Let's Play, but for the majority of the boards, that we've pretty much at the halfway point already. Well, not necessarily just yet though, because we still got Warriors Battle Canyon, as well as Luigi's Engine Room, and even Bowser's Magma Mountain, and of course the final board is Internal Star. So, but even then, I will get to those. Enjoying at some point in the next few weekends up ahead. So, speaking of which, actually, it's the fact that we might be able to consider this the main factor about. Oh, yeah, by the way, the happening spaces in this board are uh, basically what happens is, is that if Luigi managed to land on a happening space, basically he'll do like a switcheroo, which kind of feels like similar to Mario's Rainbow Castle for a small extent, but the biggest difference is this time between. Uh, this board compared to Mario's Rainbow Castle is the fact that, as you can tell, they've now managed to switch places in between two different islands. Like, for instance, the grassy field kind of uh, islands that we almost run into, and it looks like uh, Bowser, well, Bowser's now onto the right island, and then the Toad is now managed to get onto the left island, so as a result, and vice versa though, really, if someone managed to land on the happening space all the time. So, but either way, there's not much else to really just to talk about this for the sake of time. And unfortunately though, I was able to lose all of my coins because due to my rolls and stuff, this always becomes like arbitrary and stuff like that. So anyways, let's go for another one player minigame. We have Teethering Towers. Technically, we've already seen this before. But this time, I'm going to be playing that particular minigame this time around, so I'm hoping that'll be the case. So, jump across the tops of the tiering towers. Depending on where you land, the towers tilt in a different direction. So basically, if you fell into the actual bottomless pit below, we're assuming if you're able to grab some of these coins, potentially. Well, we'll see what happens whenever we're able to play this minigame, so... Alright, so let's see how this goes. Alright, not so bad. So, so far so good anyway. Even though sometimes the jumping momentum can get pretty stiff in areas. So, okay, so... Oh boy. What? What? I pressed the A button! Ah, oh, dang it. That was really rough. But luckily I didn't lose anything, so... Because I'm already bankrupted with 
zero coins and plus zero stars in general. I'm hoping in the next turn I would able to grab some coins due to stealing, but apart from those side of things though, it's actually a really rough start. Hopefully by the time though, whenever we keep on winning mini games or in here and there, basically I could potentially try to win those kinds of stuff like this. Alright, we're going for platform peril again. Except the fact that this time around though, and by the way, if you couldn't tell already, is the fact that the players, both Luigi and DK makes his return during the forms of this particular Let's Play so far, since in Peach's birthday cake, and except the fact that Mario and Yoshi is nowhere to be there in this particular board, so instead I'm going to be playing as Wario as I said earlier. And of course we have Princess Peach, which even then though we have not seen Peach since... God knows how long we have not seen her, so either way, because what I thought it was worth mentioning because of how the fact that, wow, well, it has been a couple of days actually since I did manage to done some of my commentary recordings. Because the reason why it has been a while since I actually done some a lot of, you know, recording commentaries for the sake of the past few days is because, oh man, the previous week, or in this case last week, it was boiling hot, which as a result we have to deal with the heat wave. And then as a result, I have to turn my fan on every time when it was like, boiling hot. And as a result, I can able to actually just deliver to that. And, um, second reason is the fact that, as we said this before, or I said this before already, and even Draw has already mentioned about this since, you know, in Rayman Raving Rapids 2 recently, uh, basically, we got ourselves our new Nintendo presentation, but sadly, it was the, uh, the ND World presentation once again, which I think we actually got about, I would say two of them now, which I think is a bit of enough, as it is. And um, especially noticeable, despite the fact that I'm not exactly a huge fan in terms of ND stuff. Well, some exceptions, but even then, though, we'll uh, point it out whenever we get into that. So, unfortunately, DK only gets one coin due to the forms of that particular boost stealing. So, as a result, there's not much else for him. And yeah, as I said before, every time when if you're able to bypass the thwomp, uh, basically you have to force to pay the coins in order to get to the next island. And as a result, every time you're able to actually pay a coin, basically you can able to actually just to let the coin counter increases. So, that's how it goes basically. So, and it looks like Toad and Bells is going to switch over again. So in this case, Toad is now going to be onto the right island, and Bells is now onto the left island, so... Yeah, that's how it goes, basically. So either way, though, there's not much else to talk about, so... And good thing I've managed to get myself a higher number, so as a result, it's time to steal some coins to Princess Peach, because, you know, she's the only one managed to get a lot of coins so far, so... What? Not much coins? Only two? Jeez, not much in particular, but I guess that might actually help me a little bit, but I'm not exactly sure about that, because, again, it's been a rough start so far for, this, for the sake of this board so far, so I do apologize for that. Anyways, buried treasure. So we've already played this before, so I think it's about time for me to able to discuss upon uh, the actual announcements during the forms of uh, the ND world so far since uh, the 18th of August, which it did happen about four days ago now, so either way though, let's get this thing to it. So the first game they actually did announce in ND World recently is the game called Hades, which, apart from the fact that it was based off on the Greek mythology kind of stuff, but I will go say though, is the fact that that particular game looks pretty dang cool. Even though, despite the fact that I'm not exactly, as I said before, not exactly a big fan in terms of the, uh, the ND stuff, as far as I'm aware. Well, for some exceptions, mind you, so... And of course, that Hades game was actually being developed by Supergiant Games, as you know. And that particular game is about to do out at some point in this autumn. In this case, in autumn 2020. So, yeah, who knows to that, I suppose. But, again, I'm not exactly a huge fan of those kinds of stuff. And also, they actually announced there's going to be another game for ND stuff, which it's... Uh, not that long actually until when it's about to do out. Now it appears to be body forms of Hyperion, uh, Hypno Space, uh, Outlaw. And it's been developed by, I would say, no more robots, I'm assuming that what the developer was actually named as. 
But basically, I think that game is about to do out at some point on the 27th of August. Which again, not that far from here though. We've only got about 5 days until that game has decided to come out. But then again, I'm not exactly interested with this specific stuff. Now to be honest here. But luckily it does have a demo, it's been recently just came out, so even then though, those of you want to try that out, then by all means do that, but for me, not interested, to be honest here. Okay, so it looks like DK is gonna go for the Limbo Dance session, so yeah, that's not much else I could think about it. And there's also another game that's just recently announced, and now it appears to be body forms of, uh, Spirit Flare. Which recently did came out recently, so even then though, that's what I'm pointing out right away. And also there's going to be the game that kind of reminds me of similar to the forms of that, uh, particularly, uh... What am I trying to explain here? Oh yeah, the forms of that particular game, it always kind of reminds me of, uh, Golf Story as well as Sports Story. Unfortunately for Sports Story, uh, unfortunately, that particular game has been delayed, sadly, so as a result, because of how the fact that they need some more development time or something, or maybe it's because of that pandemic is once again going to screw everyone up, which, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure one of the comments saying about the fact that, um, basically for the majority of this year is going to be pretty terrible, as you guys should know, clearly it's because of how the fact that with the coronavirus 2020, it's just like, it's just pretty bad. And it doesn't, and it really doesn't help about the fact that it does not even be able to actually improve upon uh, a lot of things in 2020 so far, which as a result, again, we'll discuss more about that whenever we get to the, at the very end of the year. So as a result, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to, uh, Tipsy Tourney. We still have not played Mario Band Stand just yet though, but hopefully we'll get around to, actually, did we manage to play... Uh, Mario Band Stand? I forgot. It has been, you know, quite a while since I've actually done some, a lot of commentary stuff, because as far as I'm aware, because usually recently, that, um, Sonic is now going to be going back into SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Mikimi Bottom, for the PlayStation 2, that is, even though originally he was going to be able to play the majority of the game, during any forms within the PlayStation 2, or... Specifically the PS4 remake, as far as I can... Oh wait, not a remake. Uh, the remaster, as far as I like to say. So as a result of that specific stuff though, is the fact that, well, recently Sonic is now finally getting back into that particular game. And also that recently, that, uh, Piglet has now recently finished up with his Let's Play of, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, so far. And, um... Recently, Draw is, uh, she's now going to be good on to, as I said before, she's now going to be playing through, uh, Rayman Raving Rabbits 2. So as a result, yeah, because it has been a while since we actually did done the Raven, uh, Raving Rabbits game since the original game, so... As far as doing the Let's Plays department, as far as I'm aware, so... Anyway, so DK got screwed over by that minus dose block, as you can see, and it looks like Peach might able to... Oh, really?! In addition to able to get her first star, that also means is the fact that she managed to land on that particular happening space, which means I'll be pretty screwed. And yeah, if you get the star, the star doesn't move unless if someone lands on the happening space, so yeah, I guess that makes it pretty obvious. So as far as I'm aware, it's the fact that, um, this will be the last time, well, it wasn't until whenever we get to at the very end of the game, where basically we might able to come across into that, uh, well, we'll explain more about it until whenever we, uh, let's just say whenever we get on to the majority of September, then we can able to discuss more about it, so, oh, crap. Of course, I might lose a lot of coins. Or, to be more specifically, if you get, like, uh, 30 coins or higher, this event will actually happen. So we got ourselves a little bit of a floaty right here. Choke point. And as a result, 30 coins I've lost. Oh, things get really, really rough in my part, but either way, well, we'll just play some more mini games until whenever we rank up some more coins as much as possible, so... Knock Block Tower. Technically, I've already seen this, but since that, uh, CPU's, uh, watching, it doesn't count. So, a stack of wood blocks came or comes crashing down. Break the blocks to get the treasure chest on top. 
So if you accidentally hit the thwomp, then you get knocked out, and you pretty much fail the challenge, so... Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright, just wait here, and just wait. Okay, there we go. And, you know, after when you get to the treasure chest, then you will certainly get, well, of course, 10 coins. So, uh, yeah, there's not much else to say. Oh yeah, let's get back into the forms of the particular announcements for, uh, ND World. Actually, I'll get into more on that later, because I was really hoping we can play a next new minigame, which it appears to be, uh, not as much. We still haven't played uh, Keep Away or anything else for that besides, but hopefully we would be able to actually come across into those, so... Anyway, so the next game they actually did announce is The Garden Story, which, uh... It kind of feels like similar to, uh, the, you know, I said this before, it kind of reminds me of similar to, uh, the, uh, well, I haven't exactly got explanations, because sometimes, as you can see, I have to concentrate on rotating the control stick kind of stuff, which, again, it's super painful, which, it's true, but as a result, I'm also able to actually just have to cope with it, so... And yeah, I do apologize for the lack of uh, commentary for the sake of time, folks, especially no support that. Again, because of the fact that we've been busy lately since Journey Forms have been, uh, well, let's just say at the beginning of August recently, because uh, recently we've now moved to a new room. Which, thankfully, we actually got a lot more space this time around. And especially noticeable about the fact the matter is, though, despite we haven't exactly hooked up every single consoles just yet, though, because we're expecting to be waiting for that particular, well, I would say the video game cabinet that we're hoping to try to able to get. And unfortunately, I didn't get that treasure chest over there. And it looks like Peach, she's the only one never get any coins. So let's see how many coins I've got. Okay, so I've got 20, so... Thankfully, we've now reached for about 50 of those coins back again. So hopefully, we're not gonna lose that many from the likes of that particular Bowser event. So, I guess that makes it pretty obvious for this point right here. And something's worth mentioning for this point is the fact that, um... Okay, so it looks like DK is not gonna get that particular star. So even that up because he doesn't have enough coins. So, you know, you probably get the idea. And it looks like DK is the only one managed to make it to Koopa Troopa right here, so... I guess that managed to help him out a little bit, so... Anyway, so let's see how Peach is gonna turn out. So, she gets a 3, and as a result, she might able to actually steal a coin to someone. I think she might able to steal a... yeah, steal coins for me. Of course. Of course. Oh! Okay, she only steals one coin. <laughs> Eat that, pe uh, Peach. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I truly say it for this point right here. So anyway. Oh, I get it happening, so that should be good. Especially noticeable how the fact that, uh, much like in Mario's Rainbow Castle, uh, let's go steal some coins to DK, because I'm pretty sure not if he's got the most coins out of it. Oh, seriously? I also got one coin out of that! Ah, uh, there's no way I can able to predict that. Don't worry, whenever we get onto Mario Party 2 and onwards, then hopefully the stealing coins method should be a lot more easier. And simple and self-explanatory. But not now though, because either way though, we'll just have to, like, play the board as it is. So, either way, yeah. Alright, so let's see here. Full player minigame. Let's see what the next minigame we are playing. We still have not played Grab Bag yet. And especially noticeable if, uh, I think there's another minigame that we have not played yet so far, which appears to be Hot Rope Jump. But, um, unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to able to get around onto that stuff. But instead, we're going to be playing Slot Car Derby again, which uh, I think I seem to fail this last time, but thankfully I have to concentrate on Wario right here, because he's the only character I'm going to be using for the sake of this board. And as a result, I can able to actually just to focus on him a little bit more easier, and it's, uh, easier said than done. So yeah, as a result, that also is the fact that, uh, potentially speaking, is the fact that, uh, when it comes to that heat wave from last week, then I have to deal with the forms of that particular, um, 
you know, the actual heat wave, which as a result, the temperature is like really, really high. And as a result, um, I have to turn on these fans on to cool me down for a little bit. Even though, unfortunately, I managed to go myself a smaller fan, which, uh, kind of think about it though, it might help me a little bit, but nowhere near as much as the forms of that particular uh, bigger fan, which thankfully I managed to got the bigger fan right now, even though somehow it's only in box. So yeah, that's one pointed out. Oh wait a minute, did Luigi just manage to? Okay, thank God she actually um, he managed to. Oh, ouch! So looks like everyone else just managed to only got one coin from that boost deal, which as a result, I'm guessing, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm guessing it's probably because of, oh, ouch. Looks like DK is gonna miss his go. But I'm guessing it might be good for him though, and what's up with one coin? Jeez, I have no idea what's going on around here. Anyway, um, let's just go ahead and uh, let's check the map. So, in this case, uh, I get the feeling Toad is still on that particular island at the moment, so we'll just go ahead and get the mushroom. And let's see what number I can get. Oh, sweet, I got a nine. Although, unfortunately for me, I managed to able to land on a happening space, but usually, relatively speaking, it's the fact that much like in Mario's Rainbow Castle, uh, it might be potentially be easier to try to get the happening star, well, depending if, uh, how good the roll is, which, uh, well, if we get on to Mario Party 2, on the other hand, though, that, um, I'm sure Sylvester will talk more about it until on November, as we said this before, then, you know, you might as well be able to talk more about it, so, hence Car Havoc, since we've got the draw last time, hopefully we'll try to able to win this minigame for sure, well, depends, really, just because most of the time I just... Not very good at this variation of this mini game, so yeah, I must admit that I do apologize for that. So, anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, keep on moving. And well, there goes my uh, ghost as far as well, not so much for my ghost, but it's just that unfortunately, Luigi or I somehow managed to get got themselves screwed over. So, yeah, that seems kind of sucks. But it looks like Peach and DK managed to did this, like, really, really well. So, yeah, I'm guessing it might be a little bit more some potentials and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did already play uh, Mario Bandstand since uh, Peach's birthday cake. I'm pursuing anyway. So it looks like at the moment right now, in terms of the mini games that we have not played yet, um, I think we've only got about three more four-player mini games left. So, yeah, and we're still missing one left for to uh, for the 1 versus 3 minigame selection. And as far as one player minigame is concerned, I think I've only got about five uh, minigames left as far as the minigames we have not shown yet. So, hopefully this might be get ourselves a little bit of potentials here. So, anyway, looks like Luigi's gonna go on to the another island. I do like the actual musical track in this particular board, it so feels like tropical, um, tropical-esque, which as a result, yeah, I can able to actually just listen to that, uh, for about a few moments notice. But at the moment right now, as far as the actual weather temperature as far as I'm concerned, uh, basically it's actually getting a little bit more, I would say cooler down, so I would at least expect that, so. Okay, so Luigi's gonna be playing Wacker Plants, which is kind of unfair for me, though, really, honestly, because I can never actually experience this mini game during the actual party mode on my own time. And as a result, I just keep on like not getting this mini game all that much. Well, at least they, um, at least I got about like I would say four or so chances left, because uh, in addition to uh, you know the four remaining boards we're about to be playing through. I'm also going to be including the minigame, excuse me, um, I'm also going to be including the minigame stadium itself as well, which, uh, then again, we'll have to wait and see what happens in during at some point in September, just because, as I said this before, the Mario Party uploads are most likely uploads in the weekends, you know, just like in Mario Party 10, and as well as, um, I don't know about, um, 
the any other Mario parties in particular, just because that back in the day, that we just keep on uploading Mario Party uh, Let's Play parts during the forms of any random days or something like that, which um, as a result, it can be a little bit of a jumbled mess, if you, if I assume in a, well, I don't know how do I explain this for the sake of time, folks, because again, it has been a while since I've actually done some commentaries and stuff like that, so yeah, we'll just move on now to the next uh, category. So, as far as the Garden story, as far as that game has been announced on the ND world, I'm pretty sure it might actually get its release, which is going to be releasing until next year in 2021. So, for those of you who the fans, my able or the gamers, well, I don't know how do I explain this right now. But anyways, oh... Okay, uh, looks like um, I managed to warp over there somehow, and looks like I'm gonna get the mushroom, so... Oh, wait a minute. Is that really going to help me out a little bit? Oh, yes it did. Because I seemingly disabled to realize that since that toad was actually on the right side of, or the left side of the island, and then as a result, Bowser was actually on the right side. So, kudos to that. I'm actually quite intrigued by that. Uh, the next game they actually did announce for the uh, the ND world is the sub uh, Subterranean uh, Below Zero, which I do apologize for that particular pronunciation, by the way. And there's also the original game as well, which I don't know about you, but uh, I don't know. It has been a while since I've actually done some a lot of, you know, commentaries here and there, just because, well, again, I have to deal with the heat wave during the forms of last week, which let me know in the comments below if you're able to actually just to consider it about the fact that. Um, if you deal with the heat wave, how would you feel about the heat wave? So, anyway, let's just get on to the facelift, which I don't know if the result is actually good or not, but we'll see. Okay, sounds positive to me. So anyways, another game they actually did announce is, uh, Take She and Hoi She, which basically, I think it's like a, um, the RPG kind of, um, inventory items kind of game. I don't know what I truly explain this just because again I haven't really looked upon that much in terms of ND stuff compared to the forms of the first party games as far as like Nintendo and all that stuff but I'm really hoping as well from that uh, basically according to the actual rumors insiders I'm really hoping that the 35th um, anniversary of the Super Mario collection will be revealed later on during the forms of by well, let's just say by the end of the month or something. But then again, though, it's just a stupid, uh, it's just a stupid pandemic is trying to ruin everything. Which, as a result, it's just. <sighs> let's just hope that next year will be better. <laughs> I just hope that next year will be a lot more better than 2020 was. Sure, there are some positive things, which, uh, sure enough, there are some I enjoy, like, for instance, the Sonic movie I always enjoy, and especially the box office is actually doing pretty good, actually, even no one there is, like, as much as the films of, uh, some, some certain films in the past. Like, recently, uh, Avengers Endgame did manage to able to get its high-grossing, uh, box office department during, uh, last year, so, yeah, I would have guessed that for the sake of the flat start. Alright, so I'm also get 10 coins, and the blue space, so nothing else uh, affected on me or anything. So, another one versus three, took a war, but instead we're playing Piranha's Pursuit. And unfortunately, I might as well have a hard time on a team of three, just because the team of three might able to not work with me half the time, so we'll just have to deal with it. Okay, so another game they actually did announce for the ND world, and now it appears to be Rajay the An Ancient Epic, which I think that also came out recently, which, um, along the same lines as the, uh, you know, uh, Takeshi and Hoishi, uh, also came out recently as well. So, because they actually did say later today, so yeah, it's something worth mentioning. And also another game they actually did announce is, uh, Bear and Breakfast. It's kind of a weird name, honestly. But, uh, that particular game will be releasing until at some point next year, in 2021. So it seems like the majority of any single ND game so far will be about to be releasing at some point, uh, later on through the likes of 2020, and some of them were about to do out on 2021, so... But then again, I said this before, I'm really hoping that next year will be a lot more better, so... 
Anyways, and another game they actually did manage to announce is a short um, hike, which I'm presuming that's what the game's called. But then again, oh, I've not exactly researched that much in terms of ND stuff compared to, you know, any other stuff in general. And another game they actually did announce is Card Shark, which it will about to be releasing until next year. And um, also another game they actually did announce is uh, uh, Torchlight 3, and it's about to do out at some point in autumn this year. So, and another game they actually did announce is Manifold Golden, which it did recently came out uh, recently. So, not much else uh, details wise, but I uh, at least it's something. Alright, so Peach, on the other hand, she's gonna go over to Bowser, as you can see. And also, she might be able to actually steal some coins from Boo. Or, to be more specifically, I think she most likely go after me. Just because I was in first place at the moment, and as well as that, I've got 51 coins so far. So, yeah, it looks like she's might be able to steal coins from me. Yep. I know it. I know it all already for that prediction. I mean, before she got one coin, but now she got uh, most of the coins, which I swear to God, it's random. 